All right, yeah, so welcome back to the Balance Diet of Teletim in this early morning. Now, the next bus stop all the end that a documentary where I actually tell you about it later on. Now, this one will be just a um, bicycle because by me saying that two tires are there. This one, now people where they sit down on top, just one tire, they perform the stunt where um, a lot of people feel not uh, feel savvy balance in terms of um, how to use a unicycle. Um, we'll get this documentary for you. We hope so you're going to enjoy it. Look at watch. My name is Ayila Rahmed, but people they call me Mr. White. I'm a unicyclist. I'm an entertainer, rather. Now, complete entertainment at the same time, now sport. So I combine the two together and make use of it. When it comes to an event, we can also use it to dance, we juggle on it, we skip, and at the same time, I use them for sports. Like we used to do basketball, unicycle, and we used to do a unicycle marathon. We take and do competition within ourselves. But I know very soon now we go soon they enjoy them for the whole nation. While we go take them for main sports in our Obodo Nigeria, Gogo. I was once a skater. You understand? I did skate before. But me, I always like anything where they do. The lie of break down, go into the advance of it, you understand? So when I see this, I look like, ah, this one can also make people like, wow, when I'm going on the street, or probably I use and do one or two things. So I go into it. So whoever wants to come into Unicycle must get that focus, love. No matter anything where you face or now, you will just take them and say, this is my game and I want to achieve it, and that's all. To me, unicycle is not dangerous. In short, it's not all about fun. Because what they say practice now, uh, practice make perfect. You can't just come and jump on it anyhow. Even book self, we they learn them before we know them. Sure you get. So anything will make you learn the basics, definitely, you don't see anything way dangerous inside them. It's not dangerous at all. Now full of fun. You they use and catch fun. At the same time, you use and make change for our pocket for daily bread. We they protect ourselves while riding. So when it comes to normal ride, we want to ride on the street and not that. But when we're in the training, sometimes just like it's a normal stuff. So you protect yourself, then you have time for it. I have some other things I do, but this is my game. So when I finish my daily work, I go into this one. So like I want to use them past time. And now it don't become part of me. People they hire me from here, come to this, come to our children's party, come to that and all that. So it's all about fun, Sha. On our own, we go just sit down. What do we feel out to this thing now? Like yesterday, I tell my boys, I say, do you know very soon now, foreigners will start traveling down to Nigeria now. They go want Nigeria to entertain them. But do you know, you know, if you entertain them in their own way, make them enjoy them. I told my boys, I say, as they go, so all these are the rare clothes now. And we will soon they use shekere and gong gong. So while we are riding, we just check it, check it, and everything moves. And the choreography follow. So we they make money, but now creativity, the idea, where will they carry joy now? Now they make and do like say, we they make money. Normally, if we are having any show, we ask them, what's the nature of your event? How does it look like? Like, what are the things you want in that event? They will tell us, ah, it's a normal children's party, or probably, nah, like this, we all know, okay, okay, fine. Now we will come, come back. Now it depends. If now um, routine, we'll be saying an African routine. Brother, you see, African, when it comes to entertainment, I don't feel like you. The way me are the same, now we'll be number one. Nigeria, we get culture. And now, if to say the uh, event now, if they include Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo, definitely you're going to say that routine must be very wide. 
and it must be something we say when we entertain and they go love them. So we got to do Hausa style, do Yoruba style, then even sing. We they sing on top of So you get. So it will take us some time if there are events now a week now. At least in three days, we don't get what we want. Then the remaining two days now, we go just use and they do normal revision and all that. Then freestyle to what we want to do. So you know to take time, but it depends on the event we want to use them for. We have a lot of people we say they don't join this thing. But normally sometimes like that, me and my boys, we do get people here. I was the only one here with the drum. But sometimes people just come, ah, I like this, you know, how long will it take me to learn this thing? And others say, well, if you get love for it, you know, it will take you one week. It depends on you. Some people, they, they'll be fast learner. Some people, they, they take time before they learn. And I always tell them, say, you see those where they take time to learn, so eh, by the time they come get time, then they bat fast, fast learner. Because everything will don't gather inside their body. So people come here, Sometimes when we go to events, we see people like, ah, how can I join your Disney? We'll tell them, if our area are not too far from there, they will come. And most times now, I they train people online. I get people for uh, uh, Oshogbo, we don't learn this thing. So what I will do is say, I will call one of my boys. I will do here, I will do the video. I will tell them the way you go take them step by step. I will forward them. Why are they do that? They say, I want people to join this game. Do you get it? I want people to join it because very soon now, all of us know if you work for bank, all of us know if you work for, you know, office and all that. And especially when people will go office, come back house, they open their Wasobia TV. They will like want to enjoy themselves while they are watching TV. So why we know if they do that one? So when they come back, now we they go they see and they go they smile. I go by the name of Gokwai J. Jefferson. Unicycle is all about calculation. You know, the brain, the waist, then your leg. You can't just wake up, you know, a day and just start riding the unicycle. It's all about calculation. It's a gradual step, you know, from the balance to, 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 to the ride, then every other thing. It's just unique. That's why I choose to ride unicycle. And one more thing about unicycle that I like most, why I choose to ride unicycle is that it's in me right from day one. Like, it's in me. It's been tough, Sha. I had an accident that was, yeah, I think um, 2015. It was very, very tough for my skull. But my mama said something. She said, is it because of the unicycle? I was like, no, it's just an accident. People want to see where, like, no, it's a light, the unicycle, something like that. They want to, you know, discourage my mama and discourage me. But I chose to ride in. I'm like, no, I'm not going to stop this. And I'm still on unicycle, and I'm also a unicyclist. My name is Shinejo Nizikachi. I started riding unicycle at the age of 14 years. I discovered a unicycle from one white guy online. So I decided to find all the ways to Nigeria where I can get a unicycle. So one glorious day, I was walking on my way and I saw my boss out there riding unicycle. I saw him on the stage, but I couldn't believe that today now I can be able to ride what they call unicycle. Then I couldn't believe that unicycle can take me to where I, where I will be today. Because unicycle take me to different states in the world, different states in Nigeria, which I can't believe that I can be today. But I want to just say something, if our government can be able to support us in our sport, not only putting mind on footballers, basketballers, we have so many games outside there, like unicycle. One thing about unicycle, that unicycle can move us around the world. I wish our government can support us. You see, eh, government can assist us in this one, because when I was young, like I did primary school, the same sports, what will they do for inter-house sports? Now we still they do up to now. If we can attach this one to it, like I go into primary schools, government can say, okay, I have a lot of guys where I don't train. So we can assign one or two people. So yeah, you go here, you go here, you go here. I will cover one community in one day. So from there, we train people. Out of 100 students, we know certain people will love to be part of this. We go to another one, we go to another one. From there, we include this one to our normal 
um, inter-house sports games, where we they do. From school, like that, you can turn on to um, in, uh, chairman's game, uh, governor um, games and all that, like we do. So from there, we will get a lot of people, we get interest for this one. Like now, we know to get where we they train. Most time when we go to a uh, basketball court for some sports center, they will tell you, yeah, don't ride it there. You go spoil the paint, you go do this and all that. So we they manage it. But I still believe these are our present government too. They love youth and then believe, say, even youth can take this country to the next level. There are a lot of things they will gain inside here. This thing, they enlarge um, in the, in the open brain as well. They open our brain because you will get to learn routine, different kind of things. So you'll be able to store many things in your brain. From there, you become very responsible to yourself and to your family. Yeah, people, my name is Ayilara Hamed. People call me White Aremu, Mr. White. Right now, as I did my day for a year, you know when I did my day for a year? Now, Wasovia Max TV, I had to enjoy myself, they catch my phone with my game. You get it? Enjoy. Don't just try to tune it. Stay there. Watch it. A lot of games, they there.